Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js Stripe Angular. So we are going to integrate the Stripe payment gateway in the Angular. Okay, so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. First, I will give you the demo. So here we have the URL. So this is basically the view part. So I'm going to close this terminal. And here we have the Angular one. So just open this link. So Angular Stripe checkout part. So when I click on the checkout section, it will redirect to that part. And here we will add our email. Okay, so I'm adding that email. And to we will change the email right now. So we'll add any of the email. <coughs> okay. So gmail.com. Yes, okay, we will add it. Now we will add the card 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we have the details of that one CVC 11. So card holder uh, technical regime. Okay, India pay. So payment done, payment successful. If I go to the payment section, so here we go with the payments. Now you can see the amount that is 71. This is 71, 72 now, it's 71 AM. So 10, 10 rupees payment has been done with this user. And here we have the details like technical Rajni and this is the owner email, India address, okay? So you can see that all the records over here, right? So payment has been successfully done. So let's dive into the code level, how we have implemented that one. So let's have a look with the first we have the back end, then we have a front end. Okay. So here we have already discussed this Node.js file in my tutorials. That is the Stripe Node.js. If you want to go, then you can also watch that one. Else I will also explaining that part. So here we have the express. These are the npm packages that we have installed. And this is the Stripe key and all body parser course we have used. And this, this we don't require because this is basically for the Node.js part, okay? So this is very important. After that, we have to go with the API section, okay? Then we have a create checkout session, okay? So here we have the create checkout session part. So you have to create the API post, okay? Then here, await Stripe checkout session. Create, here we have to pass the parameters, payment method types, card, line of items. You have to paste it over here. Then amount, <coughs> then the quantity mode so here we have a success and the cancel url both okay so if it is successfully done it will return the url else it will show the error we have to handle the success and the cancel logic you can handle like this in the success you are getting the session id on behalf of the session id you will check whether the payment has been done or not and you can handle the response accordingly okay then we have the cancel but uh, if it, it is redirected to the cancel one then you can show the message that response dot send payment has been cancelled okay so this is basically the backend part okay and the current port it is running on the 4000 okay so this is the backend one that we have created now we will go to the angular section okay so here we have the angular one it's very easy and very simple so here we have the component angular code so i am just using in the app component app roots here we are defining just small template with a button Okay, when I click on the handle checkout one, okay, so here you can see that uh, I just read, this is the post API, okay, and then redirect to that one, and whatever the URL we're getting on, just we are redirecting that one to the Stripe checkout page, else it will throw the error. Very easy, very simple. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.